Uh, good morning, everybody, um, uh, and thank you to Simon, uh, Shimon for the, uh, 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 for the introduction. I'm Craig Smith, uh, as Shimon said, from Tech Data, where I have responsibility for our IoT, analytics, and cognitive solution business. Um, <clears throat> What does that really mean for us? I'm, I'm the guy that's going to stand up here today and not talk about technology. I'm going to talk about how we take technology to market and how we help, um, uh, or how I hope we can help you and the whole, uh, the whole alliance to take your solutions uh, and your technology to market. So why, why are we relevant or why is tech data relevant? We're probably one of the largest companies that I suspect you may never have heard of uh, before today. We traditionally have been um, uh, a technology distributor, so selling hardware, uh, compute, networking, storage. Um, uh, but as, as the market is changing and as um, the way people are consuming IT is changing, we've also recognized that. And about three to four years ago, we created um, a new division within our organization to focus on what we call next generation technology. Um, uh, but IDC call it third platform, so really focusing around security, cloud, uh, uh, IoT, analytics, cognitive, um, as well as a, a number of services uh, to go around that. What's relevant on, um, uh, on this slide, I think, and why, it's, uh, why we can help uh, drive the go-to-market specifically around uh, IoT for the people in the room is we have access to uh, here 115,000 reseller partners, it says. And what do we mean by that? So for us, a partner is, uh, can be a reseller, can be a systems integrator, can be a cloud service provider, can be a managed service provider, can be a solution, uh, an ISV um, uh, organization. But those 115,000 partners for us access millions of uh, millions of customers. These, these, by the way, are European numbers, not uh, 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 not global numbers from a reseller perspective. We also have re uh, relationships with hundreds of uh, vendor uh, organisations, technology vendor organisations, and suppliers, uh, providing uh, you know 150,000 products that we uh, that we take to market. What does that really give us? That gives us global reach. We're operating in, I think, 29 uh, countries in Europe, um, 100 countries uh, around, uh, around the world. So we have the, we have the reach. Now, well, how does that relevant to, uh, to IoT and why are we interested in IoT as an organization? As we've talked about and as we've seen and as every, you know, the, the, the previous presenters have talked about, an IoT solution isn't just a sensor, it's not just a gateway, it's not just a cloud platform, it is all of those things. Uh, and from our perspective, uh, our role in life is to take technology effectively to market, um, uh, to help our vendors and our technology suppliers to effectively reach uh, the market. What we see in IoT um, is the way that the, that the market is going is that all solutions are being bought based on business outcome, really, from, from what we're seeing. So the conversation isn't about, I want a cloud platform for IoT, I want uh, a sensor to detect this. It is about, I want to solve a business problem, I want to achieve a particular, uh, a particular outcome. So we are uh, providing and supporting our partners with the hardware, with the software, with the cloud, with the, um, uh, with the sensors, with the gateways, with the security, with a view to effectively taking that to market and being a single point of, um, I guess, a single point of acquisition. So you, you, as an organization that wants to go to market with an IoT solution, you don't need to create seven, eight, nine, ten different relationships. You can create one commercial relationship with, uh, with tech data and use that to... Uh, uh, to go to market. Our traditional business has been down this end, um, uh, I guess, of what, we, what we've classified as the IoT ecosystem. So we've broken the ecosystem down into, rel relatively simplistically, into six pillars. So we've got edge devices where we're collecting data, we're connecting to the physical world. We've got the edge infrastructure that we've talked about where um, we're doing uh, local, uh, local uh, edge computes, we're collecting data, we're aggregating data, and we're sending it off to somewhere else. We've recently signed a relationship with Vodafone. Um, actually, I don't quite know why IQRF isn't in that column as well, and Laura. Um, 
uh, in terms of uh, in terms of connectivity, so I, we're actually getting data up into uh, uh, into a platform, and these vendors here are, are I guess, are our more traditional vendors that we've uh, that we've worked with. You know, IBM being a, a, a very significant organisation that we work with, as is Microsoft, as is Oracle, as is Hitachi, as is Amazon, as is you know I could go on and list all of the major technology organisations um, uh, in the world. As I've said, what we're looking to do is build out, uh, build out this ecosystem further, but with a with a very big focus um, down at the edge. How do we start to create, connect, and create um, uh, data and get that data up into a platform that we can do something with? Our traditional partner base um, and our customers are very comfortable once they've got the data and doing the, the enterprise integration. Um, uh, but where they, you know, where they really struggle, which is why we're really excited about the opportunity that IQRF brings us, is our ability to start collecting more data from more things to uh, to deliver uh, uh, to deliver more solutions. So having built out this ecosystem, uh, which took a while um, uh, in terms of some of the new relationships and understanding where everybody sat and where, uh, where the strengths were, um, what became very clear and apparent is that, again, we don't, you know, people buying IoT don't buy the bits. They don't want the bag of bits. They want solutions. So we're focusing around uh, four key technology or four key solution areas, I should say, smart spaces, as we call them, which are cities and um, uh, buildings, uh, manufacturing, so connected factories, transport and logistics, largely asset tracking and, and, and other things, and a number of use cases within, uh, within retail. What, we are, um, uh, what we're trying to do or what we are doing is uh, building a number of use cases around these industry uh, around these industry sectors that enable our partners to I guess enter into IOT more easily so they've got great access to market like I said we've got millions of end customers through uh, tens of thousands of, uh, of partners but they're not all IOT experts they're not all connectivity experts they're not all um, uh, uh, you know uh, Technology experts in the whole breadth that is required. They, they, they. Some of them just have access to market and customers. Some of them have a particular, uh, you know, a particular skill set around maybe analytics. So, so how do we support them in driving what we say IoT at scale uh, into the market? And for us, we've created a process that starts with our, our solution factory where we are uh, working with our vendors uh, and our partners to identify the solutions that we need to go to market with. Um, pulling those solutions together using the ecosystem that we've talked about, um, uh, identifying where there are gaps, potentially extending the ecosystem, um, and uh, ultimately ending up with a, let's call it an off-the-shelf solution. Now, what what I want to be clear is we're not be we're not trying to be a uh, a systems integrator. We are, as we call it, a solutions aggregator. So, uh, the best I think the best analogy that I can come up with is that from our perspective, in order to sell um, uh, and help you sell your technology, we want to take all of the ingredients to market. And to do that, we're taking recipes, or we're providing recipes, which are these solutions. Um, so we we want our partners to be able to. Uh, Buy the components, take the recipe, and then it's down to our uh, to our partners to uh, to do the integration and deliver uh, the solution. The other thing that we're doing um, that has, uh, I guess, really helped to accelerate things for us is. Uh, is what we're calling our, our solution maturity. One of the challenges that we have is, you know, you can go and talk, and I'm and I'm sure there's I'm sure there's quite a lot of, um, uh, for want of a better phrase, vaporware, where it's, it's a good idea. Somebody's created something. It's not a real solution, but we've kind of put it together as if it uh, uh, as if it is. One of the challenges that we've had in accelerating the go-to-market is differentiating between those things that somebody's thought a good idea and has spent a day creating something that demos well, but actually isn't really a solution that somebody could buy and implement. So we've introduced our secure, uh, s s uh, maturity solution score, going all the way from a one star to a five star, so one star just being a pure concept. The, the tipping point for us really is a three star. It's a concept. Um, we know how it all fits together. We've got reference design. We've got uh, sales documentation to support the 
customer. We've got technical documentation. We know how to price it. We know what the parts are. Um, uh, we don't necessarily have uh, a full uh, a full reference design. Design isn't maybe necessarily implemented in a customer, but at least we know uh, at a detailed level exactly what goes in there, all the way through to a five star where we know it's deployed at scale, we know it's referenceable, we've got all of the right assets. And what that really enables us to do is to give something to our partners where they understand exactly what they're getting, they understand the reality of the solution and what they can, uh, uh, and what they can deliver. This is, just a, this is just an example really, but um, just to kind of give you a general idea. Uh, so those solutions will uh, ultimately have an overview and then there's much more detailed uh, information that sits behind. But this is where we've aggregated a solution which is using one of our RFID. Um, our vendors called Keon, uh, working with some Cisco, um, and in this case, some, some uh, uh, Microsoft backend for analytics and, uh, uh, and some AI and, and cloud infrastructure. So what are, how are we actually getting these things um, uh, out to market, we clearly do. You know, we do lots of partner activity. We, um, you know, we our partners. Have, we send out lots, of, lots and lots of newsletters. Um, uh, you know, we do webinars. We do lots of things. But one of the, I guess, one of the major initiatives that we have running actually right now. It started last week. Uh, in Madrid is our IoT and Wheels initiative, where this truck is loaded up with 10 or 12, I can't even count those, but 10 to 12 different um, IoT solutions. The solution being something that solves a real problem that our partners can, uh, can look at, understand, and effectively go to market. So uh, on all of those solutions, there is, uh, there is implementations on the truck. So the truck drives around, in the case of Madrid, stop to Madrid, sides pop out. Um, and uh, uh, and then inside we run it, we're running workshops with our partners. Um, we've got, and I think in this case we've got a couple of uh, motors showing vibration and, and non-vibration and uh, some real-time insights and various other things. So, from our perspective, this is one of the major initiatives that we are uh, that we're delivering. I won't not going to go through all of these in detail, but from our perspective. Uh, like I say, solution, solution, solution all the way. We want to take um, uh, as much technology as we can, but ultimately with a view to building out uh, solutions that solve uh, real, world, uh, real world challenges. Like I say, you can see all the different aggregations here. Uh, this initiative started pre-IQRF, uh, pre so one of the things that we'll be looking to do now is to start building IQRF. Uh, into a number of uh, uh, and your uh, and your technology into a number of these solutions, and in fact, I've got some some colleagues here, and uh, for those that have got stands or haven't got stands, we'll be coming around trying to understand more about the solutions that you've got, more about the technology that you've got, and see how we can uh, how and if we can aggregate uh, your technology into uh, uh, into our go-to-market. So. Uh, just to kind of summarize and to, uh, to finish up, um, you know, some of the things that we're doing to drive the go-to-market, we have Practice Builder, um, which is uh, a program of work that we do going through with our partners to develop um, an IoT practice, um, our reseller or, or uh, system integrated partners. We have our solution factory, um, where uh, you know, we're really trying to take real-world solutions to market. Um, to effectively help our partners and our uh, and our vendors reach more, uh, reach more reach more customers, talked about our access to market um, uh, and our I IoT on Wheels initiative. We also are building out um, uh, digital marketplaces. We already have digital marketplaces, but one of the uh, I guess one of the challenges or unique points that we have with IoT is how do we fit IoT solutions into a more traditional digital marketplace? How do we provide a way to buy and configure potentially IoT solutions online. So there's a, an activity going on first half of this year uh, that will hopefully, hopefully result in, a, um, uh, I guess, a front end to our existing digital marketplace where you can procure, you can go online, you can configure, let's say it was smart parking, I need this many parking spaces, uh, I need this cloud platform, um, uh, you know, maybe I need the, uh, this gateway uh, and it will uh, handle all of the uh, provisioning, etc., behind uh, uh, behind the scenes. Uh, I'm around, unfortunately, only for the rest of today. I, uh, I have to fly out later on, uh, but I am around, and my colleagues are around. Um, if anybody's got any questions, please just um, 
uh, reach out and uh, and talk to us. It'd be great to uh, to understand a bit more. And like I say, we are very excited to be part of the community um, and see so much uh, uh, so much interesting, innovative technology that we can hopefully help take to market. Thank you. <laughs>